gonna be alright Cause I just wanna see the light Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> um, so the last vlog that I put live, I was actually so behind in my videos. So the videos that have been popping up on my YouTube channel, I filmed them like six weeks ago, two months ago. So I actually haven't filmed YouTube for maybe a month. Um, I was just lucky enough that I had a bit of a backlog. Um, I haven't been very well. <laughs> I've just come back. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have a bit more of an insight into what I'm talking about. But I've just come back from a week with my family. Um, yeah, it was just amazing. I hadn't seen them in a year. I, like, I hadn't gone home in a year. And I saw my grandparents for the first time in a year. And after, be like... I get really emotional talking about it. Like, I can't comprehend... I can't put across um, how unwell I've been feeling. Um, basically, I've had long call really badly on and off throughout the year, you guys know this. Um, I thought I was out the clear, I hadn't hit, I was ill at the beginning of January, nothing major, and then after January, I was really good until about mid-March. I started to get long call again and like my chest was really sore, my lungs were not very good and it just got worse and worse and worse to the point where I was having the weirdest the weirdest symptoms from random parts of my body having sw swollen lumps to I came out in a rash all over my body and I was just shaking constantly um to name a few of the random things that have gone on but um it was probably one of the toughest months I've ever been through and it was really deceiving because I could go out and shoot, like I, for instance, I went for, when the restaurants opened, I went for dinner out with my friend Georgia and we had a little walk in town. And then I spent three days in bed afterwards. Like, but Georgia would have seen me, I would have been fine. I had makeup on, I looked great. Like, but then behind closed doors, it's almost like a payback. Like I was in bed for three, three days solid shaking. Um, and I just, I'd lost so much weight. I wasn't gonna talk about this until the end of the vlog because I just wanted to get into fun stuff again, but I thought I'd just explain a little bit about what's happened. Um, I'd lost so much weight. I was having, I don't know, something about long haul gives me, like, I haven't worked it out. It's some sort of anxiety attack. I was having anxiety attacks in the night. Um, I basically got, so ill and in such a state that I just needed to go home. Um, the doctors don't know what's going on. They have absolutely no clue what's going on with long callers. Um, so yeah, it would, I, I don't know how to express, I don't know how to express what I've been through. And like, even I think my mum and dad were a bit surprised. Like when I went home, I gasp a lot. Like I have periods of gasping where I'm like, <gasps> And like I was sitting there one evening and it, I was having a gasping session, which is really normal for me. I've been having them for a year, but I've, I'm always alone when they happen because it's usually when I stop that it happens so no one's seen it. So my mum was like, my mum was really worried. She started like getting really out of breath too because I was making a gasp, but like no one has really seen what it's been like on my own. And like there's been times in my flat where I've, really felt like I was gonna faint in like mid-May, beginning of May. I couldn't I couldn't even make a walk outside the flat. The ground was moving, I felt really dizzy. And the crazy thing is, the immediate reaction to you guys now would be like, go to the hospital, go to the doctors. I've been, they can't find anything truly significant wrong with me through the whole long haul thing I've had a few doctors hold their hands up and be like we don't know what what's going on here um I feel like I'm a lot further down the line than a lot of people like I'm 15 months now I actually begged my specialist doctor to take me back on because he discharged me in December because he couldn't find anything wrong and I was like 
I screenshot loads of things that it could be that I just found on the internet and I was like please just see me again and he saw me again and he was like I'm gonna put you on a waiting list for the long haul clinic so I'm on two different waiting lists for two different long haul clinics and I can't get in either of them haven't heard anything since so if you see a really attractive rash on my legs over the next couple of videos that is why it's not gone and every time I have a gasping session these rashes get more so <laughs> I don't I don't it's a bit like I don't know ever what's too much and what's not to share but when you share your life online I feel like I can't stand here and be smiling and showing you my outfits when I've been really really struggling behind closed doors with my health it's just not good <laughs> um but i feel so much better i went home it was sunny i spent my mum's been feeding me so i put weight back on and like yeah i feel really good to be back i still have my lungs have been sore even yesterday i had my vaccine too a lot of you guys were asking how i felt afterwards so I was really scared to, I really wasn't meant to have this chat here. <laughs> I was really scared to have my vaccine because I was like, the amount of doctors who have been like, I don't know what's going on. It really scared me that there was a vaccine for it. Cause like, if they didn't know what was wrong with me, I was, I was really skeptical about like what this vaccine was if they don't understand long haul. Um, but it just got to the point where I was so desperate to be better. And I'd heard some people had like, felt better from the vaccine. I did a bit of research how like um, they think the virus is still dormant in like long haul bodies and sometimes it reactivates and a, a hypothesis is that the vaccine gives your immune system that little bit of help to push it out. So I was like, just do it, just do it. So I had my vaccine 10, 12 days ago now. I felt really, I got like a metal taste in my mouth after it, which is really weird because I still have really bad issues with food, like the tasting and it tasting like cardboard. 15 months of eating cardboard, it's a lot. <laughs> um, I had the metal taste, but I was absolutely fine. And I got a bit travel sick. I got like these really weird waves of like travel sickness with the metal taste. And that lasted about a week on and off, like maybe twice a day. And then I had a little bit of a higher temperature than usual and like sweating on the seventh day and I felt really sick. And then after that, it's been fine. Um, hasn't changed my long haul situation, like my lungs are still knackered, but um, I get my second one in August the second. So I'll keep you updated on how I feel about that because I know there's not not very much information out there for in particular people dealing with long haul. And um, I got a bit of, I don't know, it's, I've, is this like 10 minutes long? This is like gonna be the whole vlog. But um, yeah, I got a little bit of, not slack, but there was definitely a reaction to me posting about like what I'd been through on my Instagram stories. And I don't know, I think it was a bit too much for Instagram stories because it was a lot. Like I was having panic attacks in the middle of the night and I was coming out in rashes for no reason whatsoever. Um, I just thought it was interesting to share it because I know me going through it personally. I've not had any help. And when I hear other people going through the same thing, like I feel such comfort in it because I've literally been left alone in this. And as much as the NHS are doing everything they can to help people and save lives, um, they don't really know very much about the long haul at the moment. I'm sure they will do eventually, but being having dealt with this for 15 months now and always seeking help and not getting it, I just, I wanted to be that comfort for other people. So yeah, if you're a long haul or two, it's tough and I don't think people realize how tough it is. Like, I feel ya. And, um, I was looking after my little nephew this weekend and oh my gosh, if you have long haul and you have kids, God help you. God help you, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> he kept setting my lungs off. Anyway, I'm, I hope this hasn't gone on for too long. I just wanted to get that out of the way and then maybe I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of the video. But today, I'm gonna meet Georgia. I'm gonna go shopping. Um, I've got so much more new stuff in the flat. We've done lots of new furniture. I don't even know if I showed you the breakfast bar has come. I have a new chair that's arrived. It's just all come together. Um, I got in last night, so everything's a little bit everywhere at the moment. So I've still got to unpack. So I'm gonna go shopping, meet Georgia for lunch. Um, 
I'm gonna go Oxford Street, so maybe we'll hit a rooftop. I'll take you with me. And yeah, I'll come home tonight because I have to order some artwork and some small furniture, so I'll go through it with you. But I thought I'd show you my outfit because I've got a little bit of revolve on. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I left the windows open last night in my flat. The amount of flies that came into my flat. Okay, so this is today's outfit. I have had this skirt for a long time. It's from Revolve and I ordered it in like winter. <laughs> so I've been waiting for it. To, it's 26 degrees in London today. Um, so I've been waiting for summer to wear it. I'm just gonna pop it on with some espadrilles. It is a touch too long for me, but being a midget. <laughs> Everyone asks how tall I am. I'm 5'4", so... Um, for reference but it's a beautiful skirt i've really enjoyed shopping at revolve lately i've never done it before got my straw hat on and yeah i'm just gonna see what's new in the shops okay so final look i've just popped them on with trainers these do rub so i'm hoping i've got you know when you've got sore shoes and you have to pass you have to like almost wear them in i have to persevere so it's probably a bad idea but i think they look cute um, I was gonna wear espadrilles, but just look too dressy. Got my laptop in. This is the only one my laptop fits in. So we're going with this one. And today's jewelry is Ana Luisa. Um, beautiful jewelry pieces. Always get my jewelry from Ana Luisa. And yeah, hat. And let's let's go meet Georgia. Obsessed with this room, by the way. I'm just about to order some prints for here from Desenia. Hey guys, I have just met up with Georgia. She's on a phone. I'm working. <laughs> She's Thank you. Thanks. Oh no, they've got chopsticks. I'm not very good. If you're, you're, I don't know if you're right, but you're old enough now. Or... I just can't hack them. They are quite hard. I just yeah. fuck so much easier. So we've just come to Aqua. It's just off Oxford Circus. It's a rooftop. Let me show you the view of London. So it's about 26 degrees. I'm sweating it's, a lot. It's so lovely though. So nice to finally summer. Look at me, I'm in colour. Look at Georgia. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've just tried our very best to order from a very difficult menu. It's all in a different language. No, do you know what? I think we're the difficult one. I do too. Yeah. We're not very good. <laughs> me and Georgia always panic whenever we go to a posh restaurant purely because we love a good old like fries and pizza. Yeah, just chips and pizza. <laughs> very plain bad food. But they always have posh little food here, don't they? Or like in these restaurants, I find it really difficult. <laughs> Very difficult. <laughs> We're so bad at ordering, aren't we? <laughs> uh, uh, one of these fell off. She's like, oh, one fell off. So we've got some, got some sushi, we've got some edamame. I feel like we need more food. <laughs> I know, this isn't gonna fill us up. Well. No. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? This is, one. this is where we've just been, guys. This is Aqua. Chucky, you've got it. <laughs> We look like twins. We don't match your Even the train. <laughs> All you need now is a hat. <laughs> got in Saturday I had my first glass of wine of the year because <laughs> obviously being ill I just hadn't drank but I was like I need to not wean myself back on as if I need to have it but I was just like I, I do enjoy a drink so I was like I'm gonna try have a little glass of wine like a little tidgy bit with lots of lemonade um I came home I was fine with it I came home and I've slept for hours <laughs> <laughs> like comatized on the couch all afternoon. For God's sake, such a pretty lightweight. <laughs> um, I have brought you in here because I thought I'd share with you an updated skincare routine because I've changed changed my game a little bit. I took on board what you guys said and um yeah, I no longer use simple lines to take my makeup off. So I have just I have actually just organized the beauty shelves so i thought i'd talk you through some of like my favorite products i am a huge tanner i am um, i've used centra pay or coco and eve i actually really love this tan it's a really nice color it's what i've been using recently and then the centra pay face mist the la roche pose 
um, sun cream. The mist ones are my favourite just because they're really even. I like to brush my Saint Tropez in with this little fluffy brush, but that was from Coco and Eve. I came with that. Um, comes in handy. The Lip Start Clinique Lip Mask. And then this is the new favorite section. So this is a brand called Kadage, and I've been using them for a year now. And then we have a few little essentials. This lot, <laughs> I'll show you what that does in a minute. We've got some hair things. This, I swear by, this has been really good for me. Grow Strong Scalp Tonic by um, Charles Worthington. Um, we've got some, I'm a, Sensitive soul. So this is the moisturizing cream I use and then we have Pseudocrema's life and yeah, this is just a few of my favorite Products, so I'm gonna pop you there and we're gonna do my skincare routine. I have bought the um, I usually use the Reusable pads but they're on the wash because I just came back yesterday, so I haven't actually got them today. So you can imagine these are reusable ones. I'm all into the recycle, recycling of me things now. Down to you guys, really. Guys, can we just talk about... <laughs> oh no! I wore Factor 50. I faked hand and then my skin has peeled off. This is why I don't go in the sun. <laughs> um, so... I got my cellar water. I didn't know, really know what to get. I know it sounds silly, but I think next time I do an order from Kadage, I'm gonna get the cleansing balm because I feel like my makeup's too thick to take off with just um, my cellar water. I feel like I need, I need more. <laughs> but I've been using this for now and then I take my eye makeup off because that's where I need the heaviness. I take the eye makeup off with this, which stings my eyes. So this isn't a very good tutorial, but <laughs> I am going to move on to the, the Kadage cleansing balm. That really is my next step. But um, yeah, I just thought, <laughs> I dyed my eyebrows this morning. <laughs> so the kind of um, very dark right now. So I got this little, it's cool. It's a French brand, so it's all in French, but, oh no, it says in the scrubbing, oh, you can learn a bit of French. Scrubbing cream, creme gourmande. Interesting. So it's just like a really gorgeous texture. It's just so lovely on my skin. So I'm just gonna wet my face and then rub it up dub I don't do this every day, but like days when I wear like, I think you're probably meant to do it like once a week, but with days when I have like heavy makeup, like after a shoot day or something, it's always good to get like all the makeup off with creme gourmand. I've forgotten it already. I've just realized there's no towel in here. <laughs> My face always goes so red when I do this. Um, one of you told me to double cleanse, so. Here we are, double cleansing. <laughs> um, just to see if I've got some excess on. I ra very rarely do, to be honest. Um, so yeah, just do that again. Seems long, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So I told you guys last time I was wearing the mask hydratant, which says it's a moisturizing mask. Um, you're only meant to leave it on for 15 minutes, but I was leaving it on overnight and stuff and doing all the wrong sorts, which worked fine, but we have fluid du jour, which means day fluid. And it's this is a really lovely primer. I've never been able to use a primer because they always just make my skin itch. So I've been putting this on underneath my makeup and in the evening as well. It's just a really, I've, ne I've never been able to moisturize my face really. I know that sounds crazy. Um, so it's really nice to finally find a moisturizer that I can, Yes, <laughs> guys, I've never moisturized. <gasps> really, like, I've never had like a moisturizer. I'm not even joking. <laughs> just, I always found moisturizer just broke me out. And even now, I don't dare put it on the chin area. That is like hazardous. So, I'm gonna put a little bit on around my neck and show you what that crazy little device is for. So this is called, it's, it's a bit moldy, I'm not gonna lie. But this is called a fascia blaster. <laughs> And I went to the most lovely PR event the other year 
and um, it was to advertise these and actually they're fantastic so you just do like this and like this it really defines the jaw I do it a lot I think it really works <laughs> look at the jawline <laughs> as you get older it's all about that neck so I feel like just I don't know <laughs> This is what I do. I'm like the worst at this. These are the beauty products that I use. No idea how to use them, but this is what I do. So if you're interested, this is it. I, honestly, I feel like it works. And especially around these bits. So we have a little girl on that to stay youthful, you know. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I have just woken up. I think I still have sleep in my eye. <laughs> I have I didn't think I've ever showed you my breakfast bar, have I? Did I stop vlogging when it arrived? This is my breakfast bar. <laughs> I had a little bit of a mare with it. I can't remember what I vlogged and what I didn't. Because um, it, it was around the time I got really ill. But um, it came and it was so high, guys. It was like up here. And I measured it. And I knew it was going to be taller than the work tops, But... <laughs> It was just so overpowering. It was like up to here and obviously it's black So I had to get a carpenter to come and shave the bottoms off to make it level with um, The worktop, but I'm really happy with it. It's just It was a lot of effort and um, for those interested I'll show you in a minute what it looks like in the room, but I actually got it from so works like worktops and stuff cost thousands like if you want a kitchen island like a proper kitchen island it's like thousands um so i found this on a really random website it's a school it's a school diet it's a kid's school dining table like um like a you know the kind of work tops that are in schools i don't know and you could pick your own color it just worked for what i wanted so there's like no shelves underneath that you can just sit at it um so obviously i didn't want to fit a massive kitchen island in at this stage when I'm probably moving but um yeah it was I think it was 300 plus VAT and I actually got a slightly wider one so it was a little bit more but you can like different sizes are different um prices and then obviously the carpenter was a massive I think that cost me about 100 pounds so you know when you just I was in so far that I couldn't backtrack but I'm, I'm quite happy with how it finally turned out um yeah i'll give you a little rude talk because i have a brand new chair as well so i'm gonna have my breakfast and yeah i'll give you a little tour of what the flat's looking at because i'm um, really happy with how it's turned out these flowers um i went home obviously last week they are from a place called inspirations i ordered my christmas baubles from them at christmas time and they screwed up so badly with them they sent me the wrong ones and they didn't come and then, so i wouldn't recommend my personal experience with them online it's not been great but in store it's like a warehouse wholesale and you get the most amazing faux flowers so i went with my mum the other day and we just picked out i just arranged it myself so we've got some eucalyptus we've got my favorite hydrangeas and then this is the pot from my flowered collection um it has the hydrangeas in so i've just utilized that with some faux flowers but I you know because i love a faux, fa faux foliage so yeah i'm gonna make my breakfast i wanted to show you today's outfit ignore all my dishes here my dish was just broken <laughs> i have to wash them all um but this is a zebra print maxi dress i kind of love the zebra print vibe for summer i don't know why i just love it it reminds me of like a rat and boa kind of dress but it's misguided i believe it's probably out of stock it was quite a while ago but i also like to wear this on an evening out with some stilettos it's just a really gorgeous shape especially for like um I don't know, as soon as I hit my 30s, this was definitely the kind of style that I would prefer. Like, definitely on an evening out, like a maxi dress, but equally with a pair of flip-flops and a straw hat. It's great for, like, a summer day. It is 28 degrees today, and I'm going to spend the day with Abby, my best friend. We're having a leisure day. Lots of food, sauna, spa, steam room, this situation. So, I've got my bikini in my bag, and let's head to Abby's. So, I am at Abby's apartment block it is beautiful i've actually been here all day i forgot to turn the camera on we've just been lazy it's been 20 degrees in london today so we've been on the rooftops and bathing um 
this is the steam room sauna situation so there's a lovely gorgeous pool here it's just beautiful let me show you around we have in here the sauna and we have the steam room which i'm so excited to go into because of my chest and then this is like a little cold shower but how beautiful is this makes me very happy abby's just gone to get something but um today's outfit is this beautiful play it's not a play suit it's a separate blouse and shorts but how gorgeous how a zimmerman like does this look it is from asos i will link it down below um i got the zach posen bags some gladiator kind of heels and i've still got my sexy <laughs> covid rash all over my legs but yellow we are just gonna go with it <laughs> So today it is Monday. I'm actually meeting Georgia and we are going to head to get our hair done at a salon <laughs> We're gonna do some work got a few bits on today. So I just thought I'd take you with you take you with me <laughs> And just have a good girly day in London. So guys, we have just got to a Vader salon. It's the one in Holborn. I'm with Obviously, <laughs> we have our cups of tea and we're gonna get a cut and blow dry. But I'm gonna ask them, I wanted to do like beachy waves. Yeah, I feel like no one has long enough. One cup. Do you know what? Since I'm having my vitamin D tablets, my hair, my nails. Amazing. I was low in vitamin D, guys. It's not good. But yeah, this is where we are. This is outfit of the day. Oh no, I showed them a different outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Look, of problems. But yeah, this is a cute salon and I'll show you around when we. Um, yeah go get our trim and stuff but yeah if you're in central definitely come check it out it's cute oh my God. hi do you want to say So we have just finished at Aveda. It's a lovely salon. And did you enjoy your appointment? Yeah, nice And we just come at like a five minute walk from Aveda to a courtyard. Um, it's by Peter Mercerys, but we're in Bills. It's really beautiful. We've got our laptops, got my smoothie, and I've got freshly blue dried hair. I'm so now all I need is a date. <laughs> <laughs> See, I do have you. You can appreciate the hair, but um, yeah, it's really warm in London at the moment. It's so lovely. I feel like when it's whenever it's hot, I never really appreciate how warm it is, and then when it rains again, I'm like, damn it. <laughs> do you like your hair? I'm still getting used to it. Short hair. George just had her extensions out. I like it, you know. Okay, we might have ordered a lot of food. <laughs> Is it not? Okay. No, got some chicken dumplings, got some chicken skewers, no, no halloumi yeah. fries. fries. Don't know what that is. This is it. <laughs> to liked a little bit of normality i really think things are going back to normal i have a week full of meetings and events it feels so good it's been so long hasn't it guys when you look back at this past year i feel like we all deserve like a round of applause for getting it getting through it um it's just such a nice feeling isn't it that everything's coming back to normal so like today being in the salon meeting the pr of Aveda and stuff it was just it just feels so normal and that feels weird. Anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like an hour long, but I haven't vlogged in a long time, so I hope you enjoyed it. I have just had a load of furniture delivered in my hallway for this room 
I've got paint. Be I ordered a two meter or like a 1.5 meter picture, which is going up in the hallway. Um, so in the next vlog, I think I'm going to be doing a full house tour, so you can see everything, the layout, and just I'll walk you through it and stuff. So that should be fun. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are okay, and I will see you very soon for another video.